A while back, I posted a video on dynamic tables in Snowflake and I got a really good question in the comments. What's the difference between dynamic tables and materialized views? It's a common point of confusion and honestly, it's something that could come up in a data engineering interview as well. So, let's get to it. Firstly, why the confusion? Because at first glance, they feel similar. Like two kitchen gadgets that both prepare food, but are fit for different purposes. One is a microwave for faster output, and the other is a smart cooker for automated process. Let's translate it. Both materialized view and dynamic table store query results physically, but for different goals. Materialized views focus on query performance. Dynamic tables focus on automating data transformation. So do dynamic tables improve query performance? Not directly. They can help indirectly by offloading heavy transformations ahead of query time, reducing the need for heavy lifting during querying. Materialized views, on the other hand, are designed to improve query performance but they come with limitations. They don't support complex joins, nested queries, or full ETL style logic. Another reason for the confusion. Both auto refresh, but the trigger is different. Materialized views auto refresh based on the changes in base tables, while dynamic tables auto refresh based on schedule you define. Furthermore, they both feel like shortcuts to ETL. Dynamic tables automate your transformation logic, while materialized views avoid recomputing the same query every time. So, what's a materialized view? It's like a pre-computed result of a query. It physically stores the output, so when you query it, it's super fast. What about dynamic tables? A dynamic table is like a smart pipeline. Instead of building ETL jobs in DBT or Airflow, you define a SQL transformation and Snowflake handles the rest, refreshing the target table automatically based on your schedule. To someone new, both feel like, I write a SQL query and Snowflake keeps the result fresh. So what's the difference? Here is a quick recap. Now let's get to when to use what. Use materialized views. If you want faster queries for repeated aggregations and you have dashboards that need quick response times. Use dynamic tables. If you want to automate complex logic, filters, joins, nested queries, and you want data freshness without external pipelines. So that concludes the difference between dynamic tables and materialized views in Snowflake. Are you using dynamic tables already or still sticking with views? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my other videos on Snowflake and data quality. See you in the next one.